Today I'm going to show you how to create this creative vintage poster effect using Adobe Illustrator, so let's get to it. Back in the vector world of Illustrator, so the first thing we need to do is select the rectangle tool and create a large rectangle equal to the artboard size. For the styling of this shape, I'm going to apply this dark color to this rectangle. I'm using these two colors for my vintage poster, so you can simply copy the hex code if you want. So once this rectangle is created, create another small shape with the help of rectangle tool and this time, apply this bright yellow color. Now place this small rectangle onto the canvas and adjust its position on the top left corner. Now zoom in and select this rectangle, then go to the object menu and from the path drop down, select the option which says split into grid. Click on preview to see the effect in real time, then increase the number of rows and number of columns to your preference, then hit OK. So now we have created a small window for our vintage lighting. Press X on your keyboard to select the stroke color, then open the color picker and apply a nice gray tone to the stroke. Don't forget that this yellow rectangle was converted into nine equal parts when we created the grid. So you can simply press Ctrl G to group these nine parts together to create a single object. Now select the transform tool, then click and drag this anchor point and hold down the control key to transform this grid like this. Now zoom out to see if the grid window is looking nice. You can select this grid rectangle and slightly scale it down if it's looking too large for the poster. Now adjust its placement and zoom out to see if everything is in line. Now we can create a vintage light effect coming from this window. Zoom in on this window grid and select the pin tool from the toolbar. To create the vintage light effect, start by drawing the light path originating from the top right corner of the window. Guide the path in a smooth, flowing manner to mimic the natural dispersion of light. This technique ensures that the light appears to spread outward from the window, enhancing the vintage aesthetic and reinforcing the illusion that the light is emanating from that specific point. So once the light path is complete, change its color to the same color as your window. Now you might notice that the window is behind the light, so you can open the layers panel and simply place this light path behind the window grid. Now you can clearly see the light spreading outward from the window, creating a vintage ambience. Now it's time to add a character symbol on top of our design. Download and place any character silhouette into Illustrator and adjust its position at the bottom right corner. After that, zoom in at the bottom edge of the artboard, right below the silhouette character, and select the line tool from the toolbar. Now create a horizontal line right here, just for a nice, elegant look. Press X on your keyboard. Then open the color picker and apply a dark stroke to this horizontal line. So the silhouette part is also complete. The next step is to add the headline of this vintage poster. So with the type tool selected, write a headline for your poster. I'm thinking more of a movie theme for my vintage poster. So I'll use a movie name and a nice decent typeface to give my design an elegant look. Apply the same yellow color to your headline and place this text onto the canvas. Increase the font size quite a bit making the headline prominent. Now adjust its position on the left side, then open the characters panel and choose a suitable value for the letting. Now adjust its position and you can see that our vintage poster is slowly coming to life. Now we will add some secondary information below the headline. Zoom in on the bottom left corner and create a copy of the headline. I'm following a movie theme, so I'll add the names of the directors, but you can add any secondary information that you want. Adjust the font size of your text and keep adding the remaining information. Don't forget to align the text to the left side. Now zoom in on this text and write names of the movie directors. After that, create a copy of this text and start writing the names of the star cast. Copy and paste all the necessary information and then adjust the alignment just like the previous text. Now zoom out to see if the text is adjusted nicely. You can now select the secondary information and place it at the very bottom like this. Now select the headline text and adjust its position as well. Now zoom out and you can see that the design is finally complete. Select the rectangle tool and create a large rectangle equal to the artboard. Now select everything on the canvas, then right click and make clipping mask. And there it is, a vintage poster effect using Adobe Illustrator with realistic light spreading outward from the window. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial, give it a thumbs up, Subscribe for more similar content and I'll see you in the next one.